this is the itel s18 and this device is for basic computing tasks and it was priced around 62,000 naira which is around 85 dollars as at released and that's right now in 2023 this device is actually priced around 55,000 naira or thereabouts so yeah if you want to learn everything about this video do keep on watching So yeah, hey fam, welcome back to this particular channel. I got this question from someone asking me he has around 55 to 60,000 naira and then um, he needs a phone that should actually perform daily, you know, basic computing mobile tasks for him in 2023 actually and um, I was like, yeah, why not? I thought the ITO S18 should be something really interesting to talk about. So yeah, this is a review of the ITEL S18. The first thing I noticed about this smartphone is that it is actually out of the box with 4G connectivity, which is an upgrade compared to the S17. Yeah, out of the box, we have a SIM ejector, a hard TPU case, a pair of wired headphones, and also we have a USB A to micro USB for charging and also a 10 watts charging brick, which will take around three hours to charge this phone from 0% to 800%. That is to say, there is no fast charging on the ITEL S18. We have this textured looking rear, which is basically not a textured rear when it's on your hand. One of the things I love about this smartphone is the boxy finish, which gives you this extra grip, you know, when it's on your hands. The fingerprint is at the rear, very close to the camera, and the ITEL branding beneath. The fingerprint at the bottom side we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack a mouthpiece opening micro usb port the down firing speaker which sounds a little bit tiny in my opinion on the right hand side we have the volume rocker keys and the power key on the left hand side we have the dual sim tray with a dedicated sd card slot and at the front we have the display with this tear drop down notch or water drop down notch which is quite outdated but at this price point, I guess this is what you can actually get. We have a 6.6 .6 inches LCD display which refreshes at 60 hertz. Talking about the brightness, you should experience difficulties using this mobile device under direct sunlight. But it's great using this device indoors. When it's come to the performance, this device is powered by a Unisoc SC9863A1 processor paired with 2GB of RAM which can be extended by another two gigabytes of RAM using MemFusion. Not to forget the storage which comes in handy at 64 gigabytes and also comes in out of the box with Android 12. So you should know that this device can handle basic gaming like Subway Surf and the rest and can never handle high-end or heavy games like PUBG and the rest. And that brings us to the battery. This device comes in handy with a whooping 5000 milliamps battery which should last you around 2 days with you know minimum usage or basic usage. Now at the camera section of this device we have an 8 megapixels main camera, an AI lens and also low light camera and at the front we also have an 8 megapixels camera. So yeah, here are some pictures taken by the ITEL S18. So yeah, tell me if you'll buy this device in 2023 if you have a budget of around 60 or 55 to 60 thousand naira basically. So yeah, tell me anything in the comment section. Make your request also in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tech savvy and I'll see you when you see me. Peace.